Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what will happen when we compile Java code containing syntax problems? Let me answer this question with practical demonstration. When you compile some Java code, that is Java source code containing some syntax mistakes or problems, okay, then during the compilation, you will get compiler error. Okay, you'll get compiler error and because of which the dot class file will not be created. If the compiling process is successful, then the dot class file will generally get created after the compiling, right? But when you compile the Java source code containing the syntax mistakes or errors or problems, then you will get compiler error and the dot class file will not be created. Let me practically show you that. So for that, I'll take you to one location in my machine where I have this uh, Java source code written already in the Java file. Here we have the Java, so, uh, Java source code written inside this Java file. I'll open this Java file and you can see the source code, right? Public class, class name, starting curly brace, public static void main, string of ops, starting curly brace of the main method, ending curly brace, ending curly brace of the class. Everything is intact. Here we have a uh, one of the sample Java statement that is print statement, uh, which is going to print my name. Whatever the string text you provide to this println statement, uh, it is going to print the same thing. It is going to print my name. But what I'm going to do here is intentionally, I'm going to remove this semicolon from here. Okay. So in English statements, between every English, uh, at the end of every English statement, there is a full stop, right? Similarly in Java, at the end of every Java statement, there should be a semicolon, but I have intentionally removed it so that we are not following some rules and regulations of Java, which is nothing but we are not adhering to the Java language rules, that is syntax rules, okay? So there is syntax mistake or problem here, okay? In this case, when the Java code has some syntax problems in the code, now if you try to compile the code, what will happen? We'll get compiler error and the dot class file will not be created. Select the path where the this particular Java file is available and type CMD. When you press CMD, the command prompt will open at the location where this Java file is available. Now try to compile the this uh, code inside the Java file. For that, we have to use the command Java C and type demo dot Java. And when you press enter here, the compiling will not be done. Okay, uh, compiling will be done but it will result, it will not be successful, okay? Compiling will be done, but it won't be successful. Rather, you are going, going to get a compiler error. You see, at the line five in this particular code, there is a compiler error. Semicolon is expected, you see? And it's clearly showing where exactly we have to put the semicolon. At the end of the print statement, semicolon is missing. Uh, so it's not according to the rules and regulations of Java. This is a syntax error or mistake. So you have to rectify this compiler error by providing the semicolon. Such kind of suggestion is coming or error message is coming here. This is what is called as a compiler error, okay? We got a compiler error if there are any mistakes in the Java source code, syntax mistakes which are not following the rules and regulations of Java in the Java source code. So, and because of this compiler error, do we get any dot class file created? No, here compiling is not successful. We got a compiler error. If the compiling is successful, then only we'll get the dot class file. If not, we'll not get the dot class file. So what I will do is I'll just close this command prompt. This time I'll rectify the syntax mistake here. And again, I'll put a semicolon back. I'm going to put the semicolon back. Again, save each. And this time there are no syntax errors or mistakes inside this Java code. Now type CMD here. You will get the command prompt. In the command prompt, type Java C demo dot. Java, press enter, when you press enter, you see the compiling is successful. If you don't get any compiler error, the compiling is successful, you got the dot class file created. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. What will happen when we compile the Java code containing the syntax problems or mistakes or errors? We'll get the compiler error, okay? As a result of the compiling and dot class file will not be created. So that's all for this session. Thank you, bye-bye.